listen, you fuckers, screw head, all the liars on YouTube. Here is a man who would not take any more. A man who stood up against all the scams, can't bullshit on YouTube. Are you talking to me? You're talking to me? Hello? I'm the only one here. Are you talking to me? Who the hell are you talking to? You're talking to me? Well, okay. I'm faster than you are. This is Hill People Gear, Belt Pack. Well, they call it Belt Pack, but what it is, is Funny Pack. With quick draw capability. And X100V with square hood will fit into a pistol compartment. YouTube wouldn't like it, but I like it. So, as the title says, in my very personal, very biased opinion, this is the best funny pack for carrying X100V. That fits nicely into the compartment that was originally designed for this, well actually not this particular thing, because full size 1911 fits, but it fits barely. And if you like 1911 platform, I would recommend going Combat Commander, which is about, you know, this much. Also, you should carry in condition one, because with hammer down, it can catch, it gets snagged on this here, this part here. But anyway, this is actually a little bit too big. Full size Glock, the same story. It fits, but you probably won't, you know, 19, I think. And the striker type is better because you have nothing to get snagged. But anyway, this video is about X100V, not about 1911 and the Glock. So, oh, by the way, I hate EDC videos, you know, guys showing off 20 pounds of junk he will never use. And basically it's just for YouTube and Instagram, you know, the giant online fashion show. Same thing with what's in my camera bag kind of video. I hate camera bag. So originally I was using this Black Rifle Coffee funny pack for this guy. Right now ZV-1 is in here. This is even easier to shove into a small space and you don't have to worry about back screen getting scratched. So basically you pull out, flip out the screen, 
You are ready to start shooting. And I can fit four batteries in Tupperware right here. And lens wipe, that's it. X100V also fits into this one nicely with square hood. And you can fit extra battery in here. That's all I need. And because of the hood, you really don't have to keep the lens cap all the time. If you go out for shooting, you can just keep the camera in the bag like this. And you know what? I need to take off this thing because the truth is I have never used strap, not even once, ever since I got this camera. So don't need this. And I should take off these anchors from XH2 I am filming right now because I have never used strap with that one also and my XT4. Now that's much better. So this one, the problem with funny pack is because my waist is only 27 inches. Um, this is Magpo Tejas gun belt and I had to modify it. You can see the belt actually goes all the way to here. I usually have a belt keeper in here. But anyway, I had to cinch down the belt. You can see how small my waist is. And I had to put one extra tri glide. I like this one also. Nice, small, simple. I also hate bags with a lot of internal dividers and pockets. In other words, internal organization. I don't need them. So, I see a lot of people overpacking this guy. I keep it very simple and lightweight. So, front pocket, I keep the zipper on the center. I learned this from uh, one of the Jack Carr's video. And he said he learned it from the uh, Delta Force guys operator he worked with, anyhow. If you always keep them in the center, even in the pitch black middle of the night, you don't have to look at them. You already know they are in the middle. Uh, gloves. Ziploc bags. One of them contains some rubber band. This is not a paste counter. This is actually a scene number and the take number counter when I am filming, making a video. Uh, comb, hairbrush, lens wipe rugs so that if I have to wipe something greasy, oily, I use this and then just toss away. That's it. And this main compartment. AAA batteries and uh, my extra X100P battery goes in here. And the filters. I think, okay, this is a uh, 
Tiffen, Black Promise Quota. Don't use them all the time, but every once in a while I use. And CPL, that's a. Uh, okay, that's a Promaster. The CPL is in here uh, when I want to make sky blue. Masking tape, medical pen light. So this is a soft side velcro with laser cut mori panel slot. I only keep flash light in here and this. The reason I have a uh, disposable blade utility knife is if I have to go into a non-permissive environment with this one, in worst case, all I have to do is just ditch the blade. Or, if this is confiscated, I wouldn't cry. I can buy another one. And Well, I think that's it. The reason these two zippers are at this corner is because to do the quick draw, they both need to be here. These things should be out of the way, and I am going to replace these paracord zipper pull with longer orange colored one. This is a Hill People Gear cargo kit bag. Right now this is in sling bag mode, but this is originally a chest rig. And I can convert it back to chest rig very quickly and easily. So this is uh, what I am going to do to my uh, belt pack. Um, this one, I carry XH2 in here. Like I said, I hate camera bag, especially uh, overpacked you know, bunch of lens and gears. Well, I think that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.